Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming to you with another Kmart haul because it's been a minute. Like this is a proper haul this time, not just a, oh, I went to Kmart and here's a couple of things I got. This is probably within the last month or so, just things I've been collecting that I've really loved that I wanna show you guys in case you need these items in your life too. I have shoes clothing and we're moving more into the winter fashion now which is great so I've got some nice cozy pieces I have sleepwear homewares just all the things I did get some kids stuff too but I don't think I'll include those in this haul let me know if you would like to see a children's haul because I definitely have some really cute kids items that you guys might like to see let me know so I'm so excited to show you guys all these goodies that I picked up Kmart has a really great range available right now I mean they usually always have a great range but there were just lots of different awesome pieces in there that I just had to have and I think you guys would really love them too of course I'll go ahead and I will link everything that I can down below for you all including my sizes and let's go ahead and jump on into the haul. Okay, so we might begin with the homewares and things first. And the first thing that I want to show you guys is this sweet little Easter bunny plate. How gorgeous is that? It's got three little porcelain bunnies. It's called the Easter bunny plate. And this one was only $8. And it's a decent size too. I thought it'd be really cute to put some little slices on and have it as a bit of a serving tray on um, Easter Sunday. Or you could put a little cake on there. I don't know, just so many different things you could do, but it's just so gorgeous. I bought one for my mum as well, cause I thought she would love it too. And she did, <laughs> so that was good. But yes, love this one. Such a cute little touch for Easter day. You guys, did you know that Kmart stocked these clear Perspex jewelry boxes? I had no idea and they come in other sizes as well I was blown away so I grabbed this one it's the six straw jewelry box so it just pulls out like this and it's got a little removable bit of lining in there so you can pop all like your earrings your rings your bracelets necklaces whatever you want in there you could put um, makeup in there probably like some little eyeshadows and lip glosses and things and I thought that was so amazing. This one was only $12. I was so impressed. Definitely want to grab some more. Because these things can be quite, you know, costly if you buy them online. But yes, very impressed with this one. It's nice and sturdy and compact. And it'll do the trick. I also grabbed two of these darling little candles. They're so gorgeous. They're the salted caramel fragrant candle they smell divine <sighs> literally makes me want to go bury my face in a tub of ice cream <laughs> they smell so good these ones were only 75 cents each and I thought they would be such a cute little gift for someone or just such a nice smell to have floating around your house I want to put one sort of at the front door and in my kitchen so when people come in they smell it and it just wafts, <laughs> wafts through the house beautifully and 75 cents. You just can't go past that, can you? Now you guys, you're going to be proud of me because I finally did it. For the longest time, you have been telling me about Kmart having an essential oils container that you can store all your essential oils in and every time I go there, it's either sold out or I just can't find it. Well, it wasn't sold out. I was actually looking in the wrong spot <laughs> and a nice lady pointed me to where I can find them. So I grabbed it and I'm so excited. So I think this was the smallest size. I think it came in two sizes. There was a bigger one and a smaller one, but because we're in this rental and there's a lack of space here, I opted to get the smaller one and then when we move into our new home I'll probably upgrade to the bigger one so this is what it looks like it's just a wooden box with hinges and it opens up it's got a glass lid 
and then it has all the little compartments here. So there's one, two, three, four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen compartments. One, two, three, four, five. No, they can't be right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, clearly I can't count. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty compartments. And I've got my little Young Living Essential Oils. And they just slot in there perfectly. Let's see if my Thieves Spray... Okay, so the Thieves Spray is a little bit big. What about the Sacred Mountain? Yeah. So I'd have to leave the lid up. But I think the larger size was that little bit taller. So you could close it. I don't mind leaving it open. Let's just pop a few in. Why not? So there's all my... Are you guys on the Young Living bandwagon? I love Young Living and diffusing my oils and blends and things. A lot safer than candles, which I showed you some candles. I rarely ever light candles, so... But you can still smell them. Like, if you get ones that are really fragranced, you don't even need to light them, you can still smell them. But I usually always have my diffuser going. So yeah, this is the smaller one and it's really cute. But as I said, when we move one day, who knows when that'll be. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> House hasn't even started yet, you guys. I'm praying that it starts this month, but we'll see. Yeah, so I'll probably upgrade when we move. Now, I've recently been getting shellac nails done at the nail salon but I decided to take them off I tried to take them off myself and that just did not work because that stuff is like full-on and it's hard to get off so I went in and had them professionally taken off and my nails don't feel the greatest like they feel really rough and kind of dented now so I'm having a break from the shellac so I decided to get some press on nails so that's them there. They look really, really pretty. They're called the Hiloyas Hilo Nail System. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. And then the French Manicure. I think these are in the medium length. I would have gotten short. I don't think they had short there at the time. They had the medium and the long. Um, so I'm pretty sure these are the medium ones. And I'm gonna try them out and see how they go and how long they last. I want to get around two weeks out of them. That's what I used to get out of my shellac nails. So I'm hoping that these will last for at least two weeks. And if that's the case, I'll keep going with these because I just don't think they'll be as damaging to the surface of the nail. And they're a lot cheaper than going and getting them done. You have to sit for hours and just, who has time for that? So if I can do these at night after I've put the kids to bed, then that's just going to work out better for me. But anyway, if you've tried these, let me know how they go. They did have other brands there as well. I think they had the XO brand that was actually cheaper than this. These ones were $12. Um, and the other ones were like 5 or $7, so super cheap. And I'll probably test those ones out as well, but I just really liked the colouring of these ones. I thought they just were a really nice kind of colour and natural looking. So I'm going to give them a whirl and I'll let you know how they go. I grabbed another pack of the Anko Casual No Show 3 pack of white socks. These ones I got in the size 5 to 8 and they're really good. They come down really really low so they don't show basically any of your foot which is amazing and they stay up really well on the back of your foot as well which is great because I can't stand it when socks ride down and then go up underneath the arch of your foot and you're walking and it's ugh nasty so yeah i really love these ones and they're very very cheap as well i can't remember what they were off the top of my head but i'll link them for you guys anyhow i think they were only like five to eight dollars for a three pack i also grabbed a new pair of mules and i really love these ones because they have that quilted kind of fabric to them which is just such a nice little touch it just kind of i don't know snazzies them up a little bit. I grabbed these ones in a size 7 
and they're called the Women's Mules in Black. And they were $15 down to $8. So I think they came in other colors as well. But I just think the black looks really, really classy. You can chuck them on with, you know, your jeans or your leggings and just run out the door with them. These ones are comfy too. Kasi's coming in. What are you doing, buddy? You're, you're here to take my phone. You want to say hi? <laughs> He's going all shy. Do you like my shoes? I did you get them? Came up. They look like shiny shiny shoes. <laughs> they look like shiny shoes, do they? <laughs> we'll have to tell her that. But yeah, really love these ones. They're really really comfy. I've had them before, and. Okay, I'm gonna go find this phone. I'll be back. Hi. All right, we're back. Yeah, so I've had some nearly identical ones to these from Kmart before, and they were super comfy and lasted a really long time. So I'm excited to have these ones to wear this autumn and winter. I grabbed two pairs of Kmart slippers because how could I not get both of these guys? They're so gorgeous. I grabbed these ones first and my girlfriend actually texted me and she was like, she'd gotten these. She sent me a picture and she was like, look, you would love these. They're Birkenstock slippers. Well, they're not real Birkenstocks. They're like Kmart brand, but they're a takeoff of Birkenstocks. Look at that. And they've got the buckles here. And I was like, oh my goodness, I need to go back to Kmart and get those. So I went back, got those. <laughs> I sent her a picture showing her these ones too. Like, I got those. <laughs> So funny that we were both out buying slippers at the same time. Anyhow, these are, yeah, as I said, like a takeoff of the Birkenstocks. I got them in this really pretty fluffy cream colour. They're the women's slipper scuff. I got the size 7 to 8 and they were $12. They're very, very comfortable and I love it that you can wear them out because they've got like a really decent kind of a sole on them. They've kind of got like a wood grain effect to them. Can you see there? And then they've got these little gold buckles on each strap. They're so cute though. They kind of remind me of little snow bunny shoes. <laughs> I love them. They're probably going to put fluff everywhere, but that's all good. How cozy do they look? And then I grabbed these ones as well because I love the crisscross kind of slippers. I just feel like they stay on really well. They're super comfy. These ones have a nice kind of a solid rubber sole as well. I want to pick it up. And I just think they are so cute. I really love the colour of them. They're really soft and fluffy. And I grabbed these ones in a 7 to 8. They're called the Women's Slipper Scuff in Taupe. And they were $8. Did I tell you how much the other ones were? I can't remember if I did or not. They're $12. $12, $8. Bargain. Okay, now moving into the clothing try-on portion, I grabbed this really beautiful vest. It's kind of like a waterfall vest. It's called the Soft Touch Vest in Grey Mall. It was $25, and I picked this one up in a size 6. So I think you could size down in it. I definitely did. It does have these little ties here that you can do it up, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is the material up close. It's beautiful and soft and thick. You could pop this on with just a singlet on underneath, or you could wear like a long sleeve fitted shirt, wear it to work, just wear it out casually. I've popped it on with the Kmart navy blue jeggings um, that I love. I have these in basically all the colors. They're so comfy, stretchy, and just super easy to wear. Love this one so much. I'll go ahead and tie it up and show you what it looks like. of just cinches it in at the waist that little bit more it's such a flattering piece and it's going to keep you nice and warm 
and it comes to a really good length on me just down to the knees so it's not too long but then it's not too short so it comes to that really awkward length and I think if I had some heels on it would look really cute as well so it's just nice and simple at the back and yeah it's just a super flattering piece love it I also grabbed this cute little it's kind of like a creamy beigey ribbed v-neck sweater how adorable is it I'm still kind of trying to work out how it wants to sit on my body because it's got like a really deep V you can wear it quite low and it also has a v-neck hem at the back there so you got to kind of pick your bras wisely I feel like it kind of wants to sit off shoulder a little bit which I don't mind I kind of like the off shoulder trend so if I pull my bra strap down it kind of wants to sort of sit like that but it's so cute I love this one so much it's a nice kind of soft material and I wouldn't say it's hugely thick it's kind of like a, a medium kind of thickness it's nice and long as well so if you like to cover your booty it does it comes down over your bottom and sits really nicely there and you could also wear it with leggings as well it would look really nice because it comes down to that really good length the hem at the bottom it just kind of rolls up slightly it's that kind of just does really does it have a hem it's just a really cute cozy kind of a top for autumn you could wear it in winter too maybe layer it with a singlet underneath or pop a jacket on over the top but yeah I really like the color I like the detailing to the neckline here I just think it's a really nice jumper to chuck on with your jeans or your jeggings and I've just teamed it with the Kmart jeggings again this is what they look like and that's the back of them they're just really basic comfy stretchy easy to pull on these ones are like $14 I think I'll link them anyway for you guys um, I love them I love to just chuck them on on a weekday when I'm doing the kids drop off and that sort of thing and I think this is a really comfy outfit to just throw together and get on your way <laughs> all right new favorite pair of jeans my friends how gorgeous are these babies I'm obsessed with the color of these they're a really beautiful light blue wash with kind of little darker markings through them they've got the distressed parts to the front knees and then there's a little bit on the side here and let me show you the booty and a little bit at the back on the left hand pocket super cute love them so much they're more of a kind of a mid-rise would we say yeah they sit just below my belly button and then that's where they sit at the back I think the booty looks quite nice in these it's kind of rounded not too flattened which is great it's what we want for sure and they're just a very comfy soft but that kind of a thicker G material so they feel like you know your good quality denim and I know that everyone's kind of stepping away from the skinny jeans trend and going with more of the mum jeans the boyfriend jeans dad jeans whatever you want to call them I will always be a skinny jeans girl through and through I do love those other styles of jeans and I do own them but I will be keeping on purchasing the skinny jeans because I love them and I just find them flattering on my body shape now these ones were only 20 bucks 20 bucks like that is so affordable it's so amazing they're great quality can't recommend them highly enough I did size up to a size 10 in these ones now the eights probably fit me a little bit better around the waist these ones have let me show you quite a bit of stretch in them however when I tried the eights on the ankle part was so tight I got them on and I was in one of those 
um, big changing rooms where you can take your kids with you because I had Kai in the pram and I got them on I couldn't get them off I was freaking out thinking I'm gonna have to buy these like walk out wearing them and buy them because I could not get them off the bottom bit here I couldn't get over my heel to get them off and I went and laid down they had like a, a catchy loungy part in this change room I was laying down on it grunting like a beast trying to pull these things off people were probably thinking oh my gosh what in the world is that woman in there doing Kaisy's looking at me like what are you trying to do over there and I was like Kaisy I can't get them off but I did in the end it just took me about five minutes five minutes of hard work got them off so I opted for the size 10 and I'm really glad I got the 10 because they're just a much better fit obviously I have worn these before um and yeah they're really comfy they did stretch a little bit so they did become a little bit looser up in the waistband however I washed them and then I popped them in the dryer to shrink them back down to size and yeah they're back fitting much better again now um, you could always wear a belt with them that would help if yours do stretch a little bit too but yeah maybe worth sizing up in these ones and this cami that I've teamed the outfit up with is from Kmart as well. I love it so much. It's a cow scoop neck, kind of like a crushed satin cami. It's super cute. I picked this up last summer, I think it was, so I'm not too sure if it's in there now. It was around $15, I think, but they do have some other camis in there that are quite cute as well. You guys, how adorable are these jammies? Look how cute they are! Indy came home, totally copying my 10 year old daughter here. She came home with these jammies, but her top was in short sleeve. Yeah, short sleeve top and then long pants. I was like, they are gorgeous. I love the colour of them. I was like, where did you get those? And she's like, just a Kmart. So I went back and I got myself some. So these are from the kids section. They're a girl size 16. They fit me really well. I mean, the pants are kind of big um, but I mean you don't want them to be too tight or too small because then they just go up your butt crack and that's not fun but this is what they look like from behind so that's the back there and then you can pull this top down a little bit more if you want to it's a really gorgeous waffle material and it's in like kind of like a mocha kind of color just super cute it's warm and I think it'll be really nice coming into this kind of cold wintry weather that we're starting to get now and they totally go with my new slippers as well I'll have to put them on with them because oh, they're like a perfect match these ones were $15 so really affordable you can unbutton them at the top here if you don't like anything done up too tight around your neck and you can do the second one as well but yeah, how cute are they? I am obsessed with this colour. Alright you guys, brace yourselves. Here they are with the slippers. <gasps> are they not like the perfect match? How cute are they? Okay guys, that is everything that I picked up in today's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspo, gave you some ideas, and be sure to drop me a comment below and let me know what your favorite item was that I grabbed. And if you've picked something up there that's worth me knowing, let me know what it is, I'd love to know. As always, I'll go ahead and pop everything down in the description box for you, including my sizes. And I love you all so very much. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.